It is now official. Kenyan assembled vehicles can now enter the Tanzanian market duty free. Thanks to Tanzania's decision to remove a 30% excess duty on assembled motor vehicles originating from Kenya. A move that marks a major win for motor assemblers such as General Motors East Africa. I'll be, I'll be one of your ambassadors talking about the capacity that you have. I believe not too, not too distant from now, we'd be able to meet a staff can demand for trucks and buses. The visit of uh, President Kikwete uh, is very timely given that this is the time that we are shipping our first product that will go into Tanzania on duty-free basis. In January this year, the presidents of the five member states of the East African community agreed to allow all locally assembled vehicles that meet the set quality standards to be exported duty-free within the EAC. Tanzania, however, requested to push the implementation of that deal to 1st October this year. It is estimated that about 29,000 automobiles are assembled every year within the EAC, with buses and trucks accounting for 40% of the assembled vehicles. What does this gesture by President Kikwete actually mean? The vehicles going into these member states, countries, Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda and Burundi on duty-free basis means additional business for General Motors, additional business for supplier of goods and services to General Motors and to the auto sector in general. Uh, therefore, it is a very exciting time for the auto sector to be able to register growth in these additional markets. Okay. And to provide our customers in the region affordable products new affordable products. Earlier on, President Uhuru Kenyatta and his Tanzanian counterpart called for enhanced trade between the two countries. I'm told that this level of trade volume, our two countries account for nearly 70 to 80 percent of the intra-East African trade. This demonstrates the, in empirical form terms how much our two countries need each other and how significant we are in the East African integration context. On his part, President Kenyatta called upon the Kenyan business people to be conscious of the unique attributes of each member state within the EHC market. We, as a region, can no longer afford businesses which are either corrupt or which are insensitive to our neighbors' cultures or which do not act with the imagination and innovation that we need to achieve our goals. Kenya is currently Tanzania's fifth largest trading partner. Last year, Kenya exported 43 billion shillings worth of goods to Tanzania, reflecting a 5.5% growth in its exports to Tanzania. Tanzania, on the other hand, exported nearly 20 billion shillings worth of goods to Kenya. Patrick Igunza, The Big Question.